Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. The UK self-driving startup Wave has raised over a billion dollars in its latest funding round, attracting interest from the US chipmaker NVIDIA. Joining us now to discuss is the Wave CEO, Alex Kendall. This is really an impressive funding round. I wonder where it leaves your company's valuation. <laughs> Starting with the, uh, question we, the one question we can't answer today, sorry, but thank you. It's a, it's a, a huge honour. We'll put it this way. Are you a unicorn or are you so far past being a unicorn that milestone's a dot in the rear view mirror? Yeah, well, if you, uh, if you raise a billion dollars, I don't think you need an artificial intelligence uh, to, to tell you that that makes you a unicorn. But look, uh, the funding is a, it's a lagging signal for, for us. Um, I think it's a, a hugely exciting validation of the, the vision that we've been working on for so many years on. It's been quite a contrarian approach to autonomous driving. Um, but today we are just so excited about the potential of AI to disrupt the automotive sector. So how are you planning to spend the money then? Uh, big question. So we, uh, we've we been developing embodied AI. Uh, I mean, if you think about AI that uh, we've seen today with search engines and chatbots, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The really big opportunity here is bringing it into the physical world and autonomous driving is, is just the, the best example of this. So we're going to be using the funds to, to grow our team and turn this technology into a product and, and hopefully bring it to, to cars around the world very soon, uh, starting as a driver assistance system to improve the safety um, and enjoyment of the, the drives you can have around the world and very quickly uh, train it and grow it up into a full autonomy stack. It's interesting how you've chosen not to partner with a single car manufacturer to install this tech into the vehicles. You're keeping your options open. Which car makers are you talking to? Which ones are you thinking about working with? Yeah, I think the, uh, so we're, we're talking with all of the leading brands and we're excited to be working with, uh, um, with some of them. But the key thing is that the, I don't think one car manufacturer can build the safest and most performance system on their own. We want to ensure that we can build an embodied AI platform that can learn from the experience of a number of different manufacturers across the world. And the, the, the real key for that is you get the diverse experience you need to solve the long tail of edge cases. It's a really a partnership approach and, and we want to ensure that the entire automotive ecosystem can, can access the benefits of autonomy. When should we expect to see driverless cars in the UK now? This is a subject that we've discussed with you before. We've been uh, testing on UK roads with safety operators behind the wheel since 2018. Um, one of the other exciting things happening right now is we're seeing law about to go through Parliament to legalise the operation of these vehicles here in the UK, um, to legalise and provide a comprehensive framework that allows them to be operated without a safety driver. Um, so all the pieces are coming together uh, in terms of we've got the capital to go build this into a product, the regulation, um, and in the automotive industry, uh, we've seen so many big inflection points in the last year with software-defined vehicles making it possible to deploy this kind of technology on cars, and of course, the the um, you know, explosive breakthroughs we've seen in AI in the last couple of years. It's, uh, it's coming really soon. Well, yeah, speaking of which, with NVIDIA being an investor, does it mean that you're going to get preferential access to those extremely in-demand AI chips? Well, the scale of ambition we have to to train an AI is is just enormous. And I think the, the training on video data requires pretty significant infrastructure that we're, we're thrilled to be working with Microsoft Azure and, and NVIDIA on. Um, but of course, ultimately, we want to ensure this technology can benefit uh, uh, automotive manufacturers, no matter where their data is or what, will provide them the flexibility to work with the chips that, that they want to. Um, but from our perspective, NVIDIA has the best embedded environment in the market today. And so we're excited to be developing on that platform. Tesla's making some big promises in terms of getting uh, self-driving robo-taxis up and running uh, very quickly as well, pushing towards self full self-driving. Um, how do you view them as a competitor in this space? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it was exciting to us to see Tesla uh, pivot last year into an end-to-end -end AI approach, like like what we've been pursuing for the last uh, seven years. Um, I think that this is a, an enormous market, though, and and for the other 99% of cars that are manufactured around the real world, we really want to become uh, the embodied AI platform for them and bring the benefits to autonomy to all kinds of vehicles around the world. Do you think it's realistic that the autonomous robo-taxi plan will be uh, in place by August the 8th, as Elon Musk, pr Musk promises? Oh, look, I can't comment on what Tesla's building, but I wish them all the best. I, I, uh, 
um, yeah, we're, we're, we're heads down at the moment, uh, making sure that we can execute on our roadmap. You've said that this is the final major fundraise for your company. Do you have an IPO in sight? Any thought of when that might happen? Oh, equally. I mean, we've got all the capital we need to go and build this out to, to product. So so our, our team is just thrilled at the opportunity and is going to remain focused on on getting this built out. Um, when we earn the right to, to talk about an IPO, I'd, I'd love to talk about it right now. It's it's all about how can we bring the benefits of autonomy and, and improve road safety around the world. That's that's what we're focused on today. OK, well, with, with this major fundraising round, I wonder, wonder how long you see that funding in your current investment plan covering. Yeah, so that's a good question. We we certainly uh, need to grow and are looking to bring on board uh, more talented AI expertise and product expertise to go and um, go and to develop our roadmap and get this uh, get the system shipped. Um, but we want to be disciplined around this, and we're not going to take a, a blitz scaling approach or anything like that. But make sure that the lean, um, innovative, I guess somewhat um, scrappy culture that we've started with continues strongly, and ensures that we don't brute force the problem with capital and and put infrastructure like high definition maps or or other things in place uh, that that the industry's seen so far. But we want to make sure that we can build a more intelligent system that solves the problem efficiently. And some of the things that have been core to us like camera first approaches rather than LIDAR or unsupervised machine learning to be able to more efficiently learn without labeled data. Uh, these kind of principles are going to continue to be really important uh, for our growth and making sure we, we execute efficiently. And can you get enough of that expertise right here in the UK? Rishi Sunak says he wants the UK to be an AI superpower. Is this a good place to grow your business? It has been so far. Um, I mean, the uh, academic ecosystem like Cambridge University, where I, I started working on these ideas, uh, has been a great ecosystem. And then the, the early venture capital we've seen. I think there's work to be done in the UK for uh, for more of the growth stage capital. And you know, look, we've we've looked to uh, the US and Japan for for, for this round here. Um, but by and large, the government has been um, been supportive, and and we're excited to see. Uh, regulation uh, come through to enable self-driving here in the UK shortly. So, so all in all, it's it's a world-leading uh, ecosystem for AI, and hopefully, we can can help do our part to to help uh, build it even stronger. I, I note the so far in in that answer, and I wonder if you looking to the US and Japan for this funding round should be a warning to those who are in charge in the UK that they need to do more to keep a company like yours here. Oh, of course, everyone needs to stay on their toes, but no, we, we have no intentions to move our headquarters. I live and we're based here in London. Uh, we have offices in Silicon Valley and just recently opened one in Vancouver. And of course, are working with partners uh, in all the, the automotive hotspots, um, Tokyo, Germany, Detroit. Uh, so we are a global company and we, we intend to ship our, our product worldwide. Um, you know, my, my family's screaming out for it to come back home to New Zealand uh, one day soon as well. Um, but the, the core of our expertise... Have, have they been in touch? Have you had contact from the government of New Zealand looking for you to move? <laughs> um, well, you know, New Zealand's a small place that you might run into the Prime Minister at a local cafe. But uh, uh, no, not, 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 we haven't had conversations recently. And have you also been talking to the Labour Party, potentially the next government, about your plans? We have. Uh, we've made sure that we've engaged uh, both both sides of the the, the benches. Uh, we've had many ministers and shadow ministers for for demo rides to experience our technology and make sure they understand um, the the potential of it. Uh, so I um yeah I'm I'm really excited to work with government in whatever shape it it, it may be uh, going forward to ensure that this regulation can be implemented effectively for the country. Did you find that they did understand the message that you were putting across? Yeah, it's a, it's a complex set of technology that, uh, that that needs time to understand, and and this is an ongoing conversation. Um, but certainly, it's been great to get get it started over the last couple of years. And uh, the the best way to see it is to come come ride in the car and experience it for yourself. Alex Candle, there, CEO of Wave.